Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to set a SQL Gateway interface to fetch data from relational databases. There are two ways to fetch and store data from relational databases. One way is to directly take data from DB and keep it as a transactional data itself. Another way is to convert into time series data. For this, go to Admin, click on System Explorer, click on the data sources and the SQL Gateway. To create a new SQL Gateway, click the new button. Give it a name. And a description. In a SQL DB type, select the type of database from which data needs to be fetched. If it is a database other than Oracle or MS SQL, we can use ODBC to fetch the data. Based on the type of databases, we have different connection strings. Let us have a look into it. So this is the syntax for SQL Server. For local DB, this is the syntax and for Oracle DB, we can use this syntax. So generally in the syntax, it consists of uh, server IP address, the database name, and if it has any user credentials, we have to give the username and the password for it. In our case, we are going to fetch data from our local DB. So copy this syntax and enter it here. Enable is tag data on if you want to convert the transactional data into the time series form. Otherwise, if you want to fetch as like it is, turn off the DAC data and save the gateway. Or else, if there is any stored procedure to get data, we can enable is stored procedure on. And we can give the parameters here. Or otherwise, turn it off. It is very important to give object structure and property structure based on the database structure. According to the settings, we have to set value source name also. Let us take an example of uh, one table from our operator logbook database. So in our operator log database, we are selecting the table name called operator logbook. Export it into the Excel form. So this is how the data is stored in the table. Enter the table column name, that is operator logbook. Select the object structure as object as column. Suppose if you want to fetch data from the column name and its corresponding values at the ID column, then give the object column name as name. Select the property structure as no property and the value column name is id value format as double so the time column name we can uh, give start time so if the table has any quality identifier we can specify the column name otherwise we can give it as no here we can set the number of items to be executed per query. In this case, 500 items ex will be executed per query. By default, monitor time interval will be one minute. If we turn on use source timestamp, then the timestamp at which the data is entered in the SQL, the same timestamp will be also be fetched and stored in our system. Enable the gateway to start fetching data from DB. We can set the interval frequency at which the data needs to be fetched. We can give it as a 5 minute here. We also have the option to notify the user when the gateway is disconnected. Enable system notification and select the user to whom the notification have to be sent. Once it is done, click the save button. It is saved successfully. Now let us test the gateway. Enter the tag name here. In this case, details in the name column also acts as a value source name. Take any tag and click on test gateway. We can see values in the ID column fetched here. Thank you.